Last Saturday, we hosted a charity boxing match between Note and our good friend and fellow YouTuber, Patty Doyle. The purpose of the fight was to raise funds to support families in need on Gatsumoi. And right now, there are many families that need support due to the collapse of international tourism here on the island. In 23 days, with the help of over 300 people, we raised 657,107 baht, which is 20,000? 20, 20,000 US dollars. And it's like 13 times more than what the two guys were thinking they were going to raise. The funds we raised have officially been transferred to the bank account of the Rotary Club Simui and Pangan. So now that that is all done, which it's actually been quite nerve-wracking to be handling that amount of money, but we're relieved it's done and the real work begins now. So in this video, we want to share with you why we decided to partner with the Rotary Club and what's happening with the funds we raised. So keep watching, it's going to be interesting. But first, let us order some breakfast. I'm pretty hungry, are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> from the fight. I think Note may have won the fight, but Patty definitely landed some harder punches because Patty was fine the next day, but Note's the one who's been sore for a week. I think it's because I threw a lot of punches and I didn't land a lot of them. This is it. This is at the end. Oh! Oh, wow! My elbow is sore. My my shoulders is sore, it's heavy. Are like, you gonna keep boxing though? I will still uh, continue training with the gym that we train. It's good for my physical health and also help to support the local gym here as well. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably go with him too, but I'm not getting in the ring with Adriana for all the people who asked. She will just <laughs> knock me out first round. <laughs> no, I think I want to keep training because I feel like in the future, Paddy wants a rematch. Oh, really? Yeah. And I want to look better on camera this time. Mm. Not to be not to be a good boxer, but just to look better <laughs> on camera. So the place we are at is called Homemade Burgers and Sandwiches. But that's not all they offer. Some of their best things are bagels, which are all homemade bread. Um, their Thai food is also really good. But they do make amazing burgers mm -hmm. and sandwiches too. We probably come here twice a week, I would say. At least, at least yeah. twice a week. But we order takeout a lot from here too. Yeah, we do, <laughs> we do. They do have vegetarian and vegan burgers and more vegetarian and vegan options too. They have a lot of good choices and a lot of healthy choices like salads and fruits and fresh juices and smoothie bowls. The thing is, since we moved to Thailand, we have been like on a hunt for good bagel. Oh my gosh! And yeah. we couldn't find any any like bagels that we used to have back in Canada. You know, mm. like the Montreal bagels, it's or like even bagels that we used to have at Tim Hortons. Mm -hmm. Like we couldn't find any good ones. Like it's so hard to get that chewy factor down. Yeah. But yeah. they make their own bagels here, and they are so good. Like so delicious. I think they even make their burger buns here, which are also really good too. I'll show you what the bagels look like because I'm definitely ordering one. A salmon cream cheese bagel for me. Okay. And maybe hash browns. I'm feeling like hash browns today. I'm so hungry. Let's eat. Let's order. Come <laughs> come. coming to homemade because the staff are so friendly here. The food is consistent and it's always delicious. If you're in Gatsumui, definitely come check them out. We highly recommend the food here. Yes. I'm so excited for this. Look at how beautiful this chicken that's, burger is. That's a lot. That's a lot of chicken. 
Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. smoked salmon cream cheese bagel. Look at how nice and glossy this is. This is a legit bagel. It looks mm. like good bagel and the taste and the texture it's like real bagel. Do you know why it's so good though? It's because they do it right. They boil the bagels before they bake them. Mm. That is like the secret to like this oh, yummy, chewy bagel. cheap in Thailand too. I believe this bagel is I don't know, around 120 baht or something mm -hmm. like that. And my burger is the same I think, 120. I think your burger is around that too. 120, four dollars. Mm -hmm. very, very affordable. You didn't order fries today but usually the fries are so good. Because we ordered hash brown so I don't think we need fries. Mm, that reminds me. Oh my goodness. What's on top? Just oh, cheese? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Oh, it smells like bacon. Ah. We're not the only ones who think this is the best hash brown. Our friends also come here for the hash browns and the roasted potatoes. They're so good. Mm. Mm. They cook the onions until they're soft with the bacon. They render the, well, I guess they probably rendered the bacon first. Cook the onions until they're soft in the bacon fat. Add the potatoes. Mm. Very tasty. Very tasty. I'm gonna get back to telling you about the Rotary Club. Just one, one more bite, you guys. Just one more. <laughs> mm. so, good. so a couple weeks before the fight, we actually sat down with Patty and also a couple members of the Rotary Club here on the island. And if you don't know what the Rotary Club is, they're actually an international service organization with many smaller clubs or smaller chapters worldwide. And they are non-political, non-religious. Uh, they just want to do good for the local communities that they are in. And that is why we decided to partner with them because they are a legal charity and the club in some way has a good mix between foreigners and Thais. Mm -hmm. And the, the benefit of having local ties as part of the charity is that they can pinpoint or even find the communities inside Samui that mm. needed help the most. So the money raised for our campaign is specifically for the Food for Life project. But they also have other projects on the go as well, such as... Swim for Life. Yeah, the Swim, swim for, for Life. life um, it's a program to teach young people how to swim to reduce the drowning rate in Thailand. There's also a support for autism program because there are no government facilities for uh, kids with autism on the island in Samui and Pangan. So they also provide some support there. There's one more. Water for Life project, which is supplying clean water to public school here in Kasumui. So it's so many wonderful things that the Rotary Club is doing at the moment. And mm -hmm. we are so happy to be able to be part of this charity mm -hmm. in helping the local people of Kasumui. And they have asked us um, to kind of become partners with them for the next 12 months because that is actually how long they think the money we raise is going to like last for the project. Maybe even more. They say it will extend what they're doing for another 12 months, which is amazing because when we first met them, they told us that they have funds ready to support over 500 families until Christmas. So now... Which is coming up pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, Christmas is yeah. pretty soon. It's only a couple months away. So now it'll be extended for another 12 months. It is just probably really reassuring for so many families right now on the island because tourism doesn't really look like it's going to improve that In the much. next few years, no. Yeah, on the island. Mm -hmm. It's a bit tough. We just want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who donated and all of you who supported our, our channel and Patty's channel and helped make this charity a reality, yeah. you know? 
This fundraising, yeah. a reality. Yeah. So to go into a little bit more detail about how we're spending the funds raised, it's all for the Food for Life project, which means it continues to supply food and essentials to 530 plus families. They drop off rice, cooking oil, eggs, noodles, sardines, mm -hmm. instant noodles, dry food. Baby formula too mm -hmm. to some communities that have babies and that need that support. And what's really great about all this extra funds that we have collected is that now aside from just supporting the families that are already you know on their list if there are more families that need support they can extend their reach to support those families as well and they have emergency funds set aside to do emergency deliveries if needed this is incredible because before you know down to the bot was accounted for i would say like it's been a struggle raising money especially with everyone in the world having the same difficulties right now um, so this this has been a major achievement for us for them for got some way and as we speak I just got a text uh, message from one of the Rotary Club members mm -hmm. saying that they finally received the fund that mm -hmm. we raised in their account well we raised how much again 657,107 baht and with um, with all the fees deducted, mm -hmm. this is including um, credit card trans, uh, transaction fees and Weeboon website fees. We now have 605,224 baht and 66 satan. <laughs> Which is like cents. Yeah. yeah. This is still incredible. Although we have to pay a little more than 50,000 baht in fees, but it's good that we get to support the Weeboon website as well. Mm -hmm. The CEO of Weeboon is actually a Rotary member from Bangkok. So this is the only crowdfunding, like a legal crowdfunding site that is like free for you to put up a campaign. It is a bit more than what we hoped for. We wanted more money to go to the people. But in a way, there are tons of campaigns that are on Weeboon that use Weeboon to support other people so i think it's still for a good cause yeah so what you can expect from us moving forward is that we will be joining a few food deliveries with the rotary club members um there are a few coming up already mm -hmm. there's one next week there's one the week after that so we will be joining them on those ones. We want to know how they purchase the food and how to deliver the food and what the communities are like because we want to stay accountable to you guys for helping us raise all this money. But also the Rotary Club members want us to show you guys the work that they are doing because it is creating impact for the people of Got Some Way. It's been a crazy experience to do this fundraiser. It's our first time doing this um, along with Patty is also his first time and we it's been incredible what we were able to do with your help now the work really begins of using that money to do good for people here so because we are staying in Gatsumui for another half a year what do you say I think at least a year <laughs> <laughs> the um, foreseeable future yeah yeah so every couple of months we plan to do an update video to let you guys know how the Food for Life project is doing. And if you want to continue to donate to the Food for Life project, there is a way, even though our own campaign uh, we've also we've shut down already, but the Rotary Club has their own Weeboon campaign. So we'll link that in our description box below if you want to continue donating to them for this project. We also want to say that there are many people who are doing okay in Thailand. They still have their jobs, they still have their small business, but their income has been significantly reduced because there is no tourism and people just have less disposable income to spend nowadays. But what we can do is support local, eat at local restaurants, um, shop at local vendors, we try not to bargain and leave a tip if we can. All these little things help. It's not just like financial support, but also emotional support is important. 
this is true everywhere in the world, not just in Thailand. So as Flora said, shop local and just be kind. Yeah. <laughs> Flora and I will continue to make videos for you guys showcasing not only the beautiful scenery of Thailand but also the friendly people here as well. And we hope that we can inspire you to come to Thailand when you can. Thank you so much for joining us today and as always have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye bye! And cup and cup! Cup and cup! <laughs> oh, oh, we can do it!